Hey guys and welcome to today's video where we're going to show you the new SSO actions that you can find inside the Visual Flow Builder. Previously we enabled a new feature for you guys to connect bot user profile to a master profile, an SSS user profile, to be able to synchronize tags, custom field values between channels, across channels. Now we also added some additional SSO actions inside the flow builder itself, which allows you to manage the SSO accounts even more. So when inside of your flow builder, we can just go with an action node. And with this action node, we can go with advanced actions and then you will find SSO actions pretty much down at the bottom. If we press this and then say add action, then we have these actions available. So we have find SSO user, send flow to linked channel user, get SSS user info, get linked channel users, link to a specific SSO user profile, and also unlink from an SSO user profile. So if we go at the top, then you will be able to find an SSO user by entering their email. So for example, in my chatbot, I connect it with my uh, business email and if I say test request, then I will get all the SSO user uh, credentials. So you will see that the channel will be SS, uh, SSO Google in this case. So you can connect either towards Facebook or towards your Google account. And this is my SSO Google account. And you will have the SSO user NS, which will be really, really useful if you have any uh, if you have this saved because it allows you to do additional actions on the other types so if we're going to go and get the user information for example we can do so by the bot user ns as you can see here so if we are going to say the bot user is this one right we can say test request and then we will get the SSO user information. So the connected SSO profile. Um, you can save any of these data. You can also map everything like this, like a sample data, and then just save it inside of a JSON field. So that is also possible. Um, if we're going to take a look to send flow to a linked channel user, right? We have the bot user NS2 test. So this is the SSO user profile. We want to send it towards any kind of connected user profile. So let's say Facebook, and then we can enter the flow name or the subflow NS. So both of them will work. Just keep in mind that when sending in flow towards a channel user, that you also need to take into account any 24 hour user last interaction rules that mostly apply towards the meta channels. So like WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger. And um, so if you have a flow that you're going to send, make sure that, uh, that you have a condition check to check inside the flow if the user is within the 24 hour window. If not, for example, for WhatsApp, you can send mess a message template, right? Um, and for um, Messenger, you have different kinds of Messenger tags that you can use. Or if the user opted in for one-time notification or recurring notification, you can use those to get the user to send the message towards the user. Alternatively, you can also use email phone numbers uh, if you have them to send an email or an SMS to get the user back inside the chatbot. Besides that, uh, you can just send the flow. So that is an additional action as well. Then you will also be able to get the SSO user information. So that is, uh, that is a really specific uh, feature that you will have, as you can see here, you will then get the SSO user information if you have the specific user NS ID. We are also able to get the linked channel users. So if you have the specific SSO user NS ID, you can get specific channel links. So if I say I only want to receive the connected Facebook channel from this specific user, then I will only receive this information. If I say I want to get all of them back, and let's say test request, then you will see that the payload is much longer because now we will get the channel fiber that I connected. Here we will have the channel line 
and if we scroll down we will have the channel telegram and so on and so on so this is really really useful because you will be able to save any of the information you can also just go all the way at the top so if you scroll all the way at the top you can save uh, the information uh, itself right so the entire payload inside of a json custom field that's totally up to you but a lot of information is being given in here and you can save this inside of a google sheet for example or you can save this inside of your own uh, database for a future reference or if you want to send something from an external uh, platform like your own crm and uh, then you will have all of those ns ids and information directly inside the last few actions will be to manually link towards an SSO user. So basically this will just be the SSO user NS. The above one is just for testing purposes. So for example, if you want to connect your Facebook profile, you will just enter the user NS. And this is just for testing purposes. So on the live preview, this is not needed because we already have the user NS of that specific user. Uh, inside the live chat conversation because we fetch that from the system field user ns we only need the sso user ns id which you will then insert here and then it will connect that specific bot user with this uh, sso user profile alternatively if you want to unlink it we also provide that option so if this user is uh, having a conversation with the chatbot and you want to unlink it just have this action you don't have to fill anything here because this is just for testing purposes but you can easily do so so for example if i want to disconnect fiber as you can see here i can just go and for example test it if it works let's say i'm going to insert this let's say test request and now we have the status okay data unlinked right so if i want to do the exact same for linking again I'm going to go towards the link user profile, I'm going to insert the user NS profile that I want to link. And then we can have the user NS ID to link it to, to link basically towards your SSO master account. So if I say test request, then you will see status okay data has been linked. So these are the available options that you can now can use directly inside of your chatbot, inside of your automations to help you manage the SSO profiles much better. If you have any questions, do let us know and we'll try to help you out as soon as possible. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.